Hey, it's Lena Gordon, broker of record Remax Gordon Group Realty, and today we're going to talk about the stats from Toronto Real Estate Board. And as usual, we start from the economic indicator. As you can see, the real GDP growth is up at 3.1%. Toronto employment growth is up and it's 2.8%. Uh, Toronto unemployment rate is up too. It's 5.9%. Inflation is significantly down. It's 3.4% to compare to the April 2023. That's huge improvement. Bank of Canada overnight rate, we have 4.8% and it's up. That brings us to the prime rate in most um, Canadian banks to 7% and uh, mortgage rates will go 7.14, 6.54, 6 Total residential transaction, as you can see, we sold 16.5% more in June this year to compare to June last year. Seasonal adjustments, uh, we sold less uh, by 6.9 percent in uh, june this year to compare may this year average selling price average selling price up by 3.2 percent in june this year to compare june last year seasonal adjustments june to may this year it's up just by 1.6 percent New listing. The amount of new listing coming to the market is down, so we are 3% down to compare to the June last year. If you look on the sales to new listing ratio, in June this year we are 47%. And uh, again, this um, ratio shows if we are buyer market, balance market, or seller's market. And 48 to 60% it's a balance market and showing 47% we are on a balance market. And to compare to the last year, we have a change by 8%. It was more close to the buyer's market in June 2022. Days on the market. Days on the market significantly uh, down. We are selling faster by 20.8% to compare to the last year, June. And uh, it's uh, taking average 90 days to sell the property right now. As usually, my favorite slide, sales and average price by major home types. June sales, uh, most we sold detached properties in 905 area, we sold 2,570 properties. Next, more popular condo apartments in 416 area, we sold 1,437. Next will be townhouse in 905 area, we sold 962. Average price in June 2023, the most popular sale we had detached uh, houses in 905 area and average price is 1,451,198. Next most popular was condo apartments in uh, 416 area and the average price was 770,423. Now, if we look on the average price change year over the year, uh, June 2023 to compare to June 2022, uh, you can see that 905 area we have more increase in price for detached in 905 area we have 6.6 percent up semi detached in 905 area it's 7.8 percent townhouse 6.4 percent and condo apartment the biggest drop we have at 2.7 percent for condo apartments in 905 area but let's look on the next slide to see the full picture and here you can compare Average price change June 2022 uh, to compare to June 
2021 and now June 2023 to compare to June 2022. And you can see that condo apartments that actually dropped this year, last year they had an increase for 13.2%. So it's still doing well. Now to summarize all the stats for June 2023, you can see that real GDP growth is up, employment is up, unemployment is up too, and inflation is significantly went down. And it's a very big step and big achievement because in May this year, it was 3.4%, but if you compare to the April this year, it was 4.4 percent it's a big improvement and bank of canada overnight rate in june uh, this year was 4.8 percent that bring us to the seven percent prime rate in major canadian banks but despite the high borrowing cost we still have a high demand for the housing and as a result of that average price is up by 3.2 percent to compare the same months last year and we sold 16.5 percent more houses properties in june this year to compare to june last year and it's good it showed the market is active but if we look on the number of new listens coming to the market we can see that this number dropped by three percent that shows so inventory is still tight so to new listing ratio is 47 percent and it shows we are on a balanced market and it's kind of makes sense right because high borrowing cost now it's balanced by a high demand and this keeps the prices from dropping down and everything is going according to supply and demand as usual and with all this increasing in population what we have with immigration now coming this year another million new immigrants and the high cost to build new houses so supply and demand doesn't get better and housing situation won't get better and i just don't see the ground for the housing prices to go down in the near future and time will show how it will unfold and that's all for today and i'll see you soon